Hi everyone, Tyler had me called in today because turns out there was a meme emergency. What's a meme emergency, Tyler? Um, it just means that there's something I want you to react to and I just didn't want you to know what it was. Are we a reaction channel now? So what if we're sellouts, dude? At least our reactions are genuine. Yeah, oh, mine won't be. I'm gonna pretend- Okay, if we whisper, they won't be able to hear us, okay? Okay, what? Yeah. So, so I've already seen these memes. Okay. I'm just gonna act like it's my first time seeing them, and I'm gonna laugh really hard, even though I've already seen them and they're not funny. But, you know, but you actually haven't seen them, so- I, you know, I'm not good. even gonna look at them. I'm just gonna base my reaction of what you react to. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Alright, guys. Um, yeah, sorry. I might oh, have to there's take a, a pointer. I can turn on a laser. Oh! Whoa! Whoa, oh, too much power, too much technology. power. technology! Too much power. You're reacting to boomer memes. Memes Wait. made and enjoyed by boomers. Uh... You know, old people. So, so if you have a grandma that's on Facebook, she's, or a grandfather, they've probably shared all of these already. So you've probably already seen them. For anyone, kids don't use Facebook. For anyone that doesn't know, a baby boomer is anyone born between the years of and 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 yeah. and but then they're then, old. Then. They're older than yeah. us, and and they have a bad taste in memes. We're just gonna dissect it, dissect their culture, and see what we feel about their brand of you know internet posts. You know, we're All gonna right. dive in. This is actually more of a study than anything. I can't wait for this to like blame me for the failing social security issue. Yeah. Okay. Husband's. <laughs> <laughs> Wife, bad. Husband, good. Truth, just a minute. <laughs> yeah, food, affordable food, bad. You can't like affordable food and care about truth, justice, and wisdom. This man, I'm gonna put on the pointer, this man with the red cap is definitely wearing like a, a Trump 2020 hat. Yeah, it's a MAGA hat. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Can we talk about what world the boomers lived in when burgers were 99 cents? What if burgers are containers of truth, justice, and wisdom? I get some wisdom after I eat a good burger. Yeah, you know what? I realize that when my body has some sort of nourishment, I function better. It, it, I know, it's weird. It turns out I'm a lot more likely to make good ethical decisions when I'm not really hungry. Nice. It's really bad. That's that's your bucket list. Oh! Dude, beer is great He's and an wives, wives nag all the time. That's That's the thing. This is... Darn wife, stop, this is... stop commenting on my beer addiction. I love that this implies that this man had a bucket just called with the word beer superimposed on it. I like how- I just love these because the whole choke, the whole punchline is just beer is good. Like that's the whole thing. <laughs> like that. Like that's a punchline to boomers. Like this that's is... just- It's just relatable. This is from a subreddit, right? I found these from real boomers. They're Can like these are no. I cut out the middleman. These are fully homegrown, um, boomer meme content right here. So I have I have this I have this idea. Uh, it's it's kind of a it's a shots game. Uh, if I for every minion I see here, I'm gonna shoot myself in the foot. How I sleep at night knowing illegal immigrant families may be torn apart through deportation. Yeah, children bad. This is just Fox <laughs> families <news>. bad. <laughs> It's like, like it's, it's it's like the the unrealistic thing where you see a villain in a movie, but they totally acknowledge the fact that they're a villain and they know they're aware that they're the villain and they're like fine with it. Like yeah, I am the bad guy. Like they're not even trying to be uh, anything else. Make a stand right now. Donald Trump is just a Saturday morning cartoon villain. This person is just gone straight off, and they're just like, I just don't like Go people. On super villain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can read it. <laughs> if Jesus tried to feed the 5,000 a day, has the fish been tested for mercury? I can't eat that. I'm a vegan. Is that bread gluten free? Healthy eating decisions, bad. These darn I... millennials caring about what they put in their body. It's great to acknowledge that all these people, including Jesus, are white. I just, I yeah, just always love white this Jesus. White? Why is Jesus white? I don't. I thought everyone from the Middle East were white. Spoiler alert for the story of the birth of Jesus. He's born. <laughs> he's born in the Middle East to a Jewish family. He's probably I think, Jewish. I don't think you should spoil that, dude. Some people still haven't read it yet. The only Ooh. trigger warning. Oh, this is a little. Uh... First of all, first of all, the quality is great. It was posted with this quality. Was, this oh! wasn't me. It was already like this on a Facebook page. 
unironic. The only trigger warning we had is oh, I gotta do like a southern. I got really. The only trigger yeah. warning we had is kids. We daddy took the gun out. Oh, casually Yeehaw. threatening to shoot your and children. And then they're all minions. <laughs> they're all minions. Yeah, I wish that we could go back to the old days where. Dad could threaten us with firearms. I like, come on, guys, hear me out. Like, what's what's up with this baby boomers? I thought we had all agreed. Like, people of all races, religions, and creeds could agree that shooting children is bad. I think those are broken websites. No matter how many times you click the pictures, nothing happens. Millennials bad. Technology bad. I... Basically, summed up. I feel like many generations ago, when paper first came out, like he's like, "Wow, you guys aren't gonna etch it into stone? Come on, we're just, you know they probably made comics about that." Actually, uh, I need you to know that that is 100% a thing. I mean, I think it was the mid 1800s. You can find articles in like newspapers and stuff, kinda talking about how there is this dangerous reading epidemic. Too many, too many kids That's and young incredible. adults are reading and That's wasting awesome. their time. <laughs> No, Bobby, there's no such time as beer o'clock. Listen, <laughs> dude, you get it? Because beer is good. Beer is good yeah. all the time. Hey. Woo. And he definitely learned that from his father. <laughs> this is definitely <laughs> like, I learned this from my baby boomer dad. 1995, 2006. What is even the point? Phone charger, bad. Oh that, my that's God. the point. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> So stupid. Technological advancement, bad. Like, functionally, what is the difference between a life alert thing and a uh, cell phone? Despite the fact that, like, a cell phone That's can call point. more people. <laughs> Previously, pour the morning oil. Now, turn off the internet. Listen. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Oh my <laughs> god. Are you comparing my reaction to someone turning off the internet to pouring boiling oil on people yeah and then it's like there are, look the kids though on the bottom right they're just referring to kids that want reform in this country <laughs> like oh. what's wrong with that in the first place seeing something wrong and wanting to change it <laughs> what's great is this actually would kind of ruin us like we wouldn't even be able to film this video right now without internet we should try to get the whole internet taken down besides our internet for this no, channel no. pills and surgery lifestyle change oh my god <laughs> Here's the thing, if you have cancer, dude, just just tough it out. That's all you need to do. You don't need to go to a darn hospital, just 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 eat more vegetables. I wanna take a look at something real quick. Uh let's see. So there's at least one. Okay, yeah, there's at least one in here about like people trying to make active lifestyle changes to be healthier so they don't need to get yeah. those or surgery. <laughs> the, the second I'm like, oh jeez, I might need like some surgery to fix my gallbladder and they're all like no, no. You die <laughs> we all have that one friend who needs to learn how to whisper <laughs> <laughs> so relatable especially with the minions there this isn't even a joke they've just yeah. turned it into she's like dude I... loud people exist <laughs> i, I like yeah. i can at least understand it if maybe like this minion was like uh, maybe aggravated by this one or something yeah. but yeah it, there's no point to the minions they just put it there because they had all that space left if you think if your joke is not entertaining to you unless you slap a minion on it then you, it's not worth telling it's not worth telling the sole exception is if you're making a joke like about and making fun of minions yeah no and... this is um, i found this from an unironic source as well like, i it, there's a minion meme page but like what there's not even a punchline it's just yeah we we've all met someone who's loud does anyone still cook roast potatoes onions and carrots okay <laughs> i love this one because it's so specific <laughs> like like, like these darn kids not cooking this specific meal that i grew up eating in particular i, I grew up eating i mean my mom isn't fond of onions so we don't have onions in it but like we have this all you the darn time millennial. Identifies a carry-on bag. You will not let me fly anywhere for thirty dollars. Yeah, you, you read the bottom part first. Fly how you identify. Our new non-binary gender options are. All a person wants is to just be referred to a pronoun other than the one you've been calling. Yeah, like what's their what's your point here? <laughs> just it's just a quality boomer meme all around, honestly. The word is psychopath. D e m o c r a t. Psychopath. Correct. Oh, good. 
Nice. Darling, please pass me the hair dryer. Oh my god, Dude. just casually murdered nice. your wife. Wife. LMAOBRA.com. See, th I made this one the last one because this is like the most, like, this is the best all encompassing meme for what boomers think are funny. You, you did it. This meme has shown me the way. Kill your wife. Ha <laughs> ha. Marriage is bad. Nice. <laughs> Yell at millennials because they don't want to get married until they're 30. Also makes jokes yeah. about how married life sucks. <laughs> Oh, I think, yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. That's the last one. Aww. Alright, I hope this you guys enjoyed fine. these sick, dank boomer Wait, memes. Please make more memes for me to react to. <laughs> like, these were, these are completely, unironically funny to both of us, I'll admit it. These were just yeah, great I, memes. What was your favorite, Tyler? Uh, I like the one about the, um the potatoes and carrots oh, dish God, that so was, specific that like was why my, is that even a point you want to make like that was my favorite you, too life. you're gonna uh, chastise the, this generation for eating less of of the meal that you like if i have to pick like a backup one i think it's probably like this one just for yeah the sake of like making fun of us for one thing and then doing the same if we have the other choice or maybe the minion one no the well, minion yeah, that, is a Oof. Minion is dishonorable mention. It's my least favorite of the day because it's not even a meme. It, it's just, it, yeah, there's no punchline. They just slapped minions on a bunch of texts and said, Hey, boomers, share this. Despicable Me 4. Jeez. Oh, God. I hope the guy that made the minions is happy. You don't have to work for the rest of your life, but at what cost? Yes. Yeah. I can't wait for the historians to find this. Oh, there was part of this. I hope that steel cage is cold and hard for the kid. Jeez! Oh jeez, yeah, I don't- I didn't even read that part. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this, um, subreddit got taken down. If it makes you feel any better. So, how do we do a send-off for this? Uh, bye. I love how they blame us for Starbucks being popular. It's the boomers that yeah. made it popular. Instead of spending your money on coffee, we should spend our money on things the baby boomers did. Like, drugs. Yeah, <laughs> and starting wars that we can't get out of.